There you are. Ready for that drink? Let's head inside. What is it? There are... a lot of people. I haven't been to a party in some time. I guess I'm... Nervous. It's not as though you're going in there alone. I'll be with you. <laughs> I guess you're right. Let's go inside. Ready for a drink? What about you? Ah. <laughs> hmm. I've always wanted to try me. Can't be any worse than my house and wine. Hey boy! What do you say we find out who the real Norse man is with a little drinking cup? I'd say you don't know what you're getting yourself into. We're going to start. Don't hurl into the barrel, okay? your meat. Now, if we had been drinking wine, I would have won. Wine? <laughs> That's child's play. Not if it's for Marcos's vineyard. That swill could peel paint from a vase. Marcos? Who's Marcos? An old friend that made truly terrible wine. <laughs> Malaga. <laughs> Malaka, you really are drunk. Now you're just spouting nonsense. <laughs> no, no, it's a Greek swear word. It's Malaka. 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 <laughs> Malaka. That's it. You got it. Now, let me teach the you. The bride and the groom are here. Crashing a wedding? It was arrogant to assume these people were here to celebrate us saving their asses. 
Come, let's join in their revelry. Oh, aren't you the heroes who saved the island and our wedding? I did a little more than she did. But yes. We would love it if you both gave a toast at our wedding. We hardly know you. What would we say? But your exploits have made our wedding a day to remember. Please, regale us with your tale. I could be up for that. What about you, Eivor? All right. But if we're going to do this together, Cassandra, let's make it interesting. What do you suggest? A flighting competition, of course. Ah. Never tried it myself. I should warn you, though, I've battled wits with great philosophers. Stop boasting and prove yourself. <clears throat> my day began the strangest way. An axe thrown at my head, tending to slay. There stood Eivor, hot-headed and brash. To see us now, you'd not believe our clash. <sighs> it took an ambush or two and one dusty old temple for Eivor to see that I could be helpful. But somehow I've melted her cold Norse heart. And despite her transgressions, I'll give her a fresh start. I really thought this would be better. Eivor did the heavy lifting, left the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed, chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom, on this historic day. Hopefully tonight, you'll finally sleep okay. <sighs> Bit of a lackluster note to end on. That was certainly something. Maybe you two should stick to saving the day and leave the storytelling to the Scots. It's been a while since I've been the center of attention. How did it feel? <laughs> Strangely familiar. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. It was nothing. No. Really, thank you. I needed this. More than I knew. <laughs> but I still love you! Please! is long over and I've married another man. You need to leave. What do you say we make that bride's day and get rid of that asshole? Don't you mean that Malacca? <laughs> Indeed. My wedding. We actually saved it twice. All in a day's work. Oh. 
Edith, did you come for the wedding? I couldn't miss it. My cousin is the bride. And of course, I should thank you. Mm. Clearly, you were able to help my people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here celebrating. <laughs> I can't take all the credit. I had some help. True. Valka put you on this path after all. Was she right, by the way? Did you part ways with that girl? Randvi, as she foresaw? No. Randvi was never on the Isle of Skye. Ah, well, even Valkar makes mistakes. Still, it's good you didn't need to say goodbye to a friend. What an unforgettable night. <laughs>